Looks like the Marie sisters are home for the quarantine. Oh, God help us. I wrote Eileen's Garden because I wanted to help people. I wanted to create a show that was funny, but also made viewers feel safe when they watched it. Eileen's Garden follows two sisters who are quarantined together in a garden. Every day they go on satiric misadventures from impersonating Mormons to being hostages in a robbery. <laughs> Eileen's Garden's kind of like a crazy trip. You never quite know what's going to happen next. <laughs> and beyond comedy, we show realistic examples of things like mental health, sexism, coronavirus, but it's always approached in really hilarious ways. The world's kind of messed up right now. Sometimes all you can do is laugh. <laughs> and that's where we come in. <laughs> There's this wonderful episode that focuses on how damaging toxic masculinity is, not only to women, but to men. I showed the script to some of my guy friends, and a few of them actually started crying when we got to the end of the episode. In one episode, Eileen teaches Eve a coping strategy that therapists actually use with patients to help them live with their anxiety. That's why Eileen's garden needs to get made. It's so much more than just comedy. When you see yourself represented in the media, it sends this positive message that you're not alone. One of my favorite things about the show is that there are so many female characters, but the focus is never on dating or romantic partners or anything like that. That was really important to me. I wanted to prove that the love you feel for your friends is just as valid as the love you would feel for your partner. Every episode features original music by emerging Canadian artists. I wrote the series back in 2019. By 2020, we were all set to shoot the pilot episode in Toronto. But the weekend we were ready to shoot was also the first weekend we were put into our first lockdown. <laughs> It was like within a day, the whole show was just gone. Now, anybody else at this point would have just given up, but Sadie isn't just anybody. I rewrote the series so that we could film it safely in quarantine. We shot the first few episodes right here in Sadie's backyard. Mm -hmm. Our crew consisted mainly of my parents and whatever friend could help us out that day. And <laughs> despite the odds, we actually ended up creating something pretty amazing. Now we're ready to film the entire series, but we need your help. We need help covering costs for things like a shooting crew, editing, sound mixing, and Michael Sarah. McLovin? Oh yeah. If you fund our series, we may or may not do an episode where Michael Sarah gets beat up by a goat. Don't you want to live in a world where Michael Sarah gets beat up by a goat? We can make that happen. All you have to do is fund our campaign. Do it. Do it for Michael Sarah. Do it for goats. Do it. If you scroll down, you'll see a ton of great rewards in exchange for supporting Eileen's Garden. Even a donation as small as five dollars would go such a long way for us. But if you don't have any money at all, just share it on social media. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the garden. At least I could say I love you. At least I could say.